Welcome to the Figure Zone. We got some cool figures for you today. And we got some stuff shipping now. First up is the Square Enix Final Fantasy VII Cloud Strife. Boss Fight Studio. Sorozoic Warriors. Stays Akadin. Pava Pergia. Sef Rasan. Triax. Giver, I think I said those right. And then we've got some Marvel Hasbro stuff here. We got Marvel Legends Wolverine and Lalandra 2 pack. And this giant man, Hank Pym and Wasp Janet Van Dyne 2 pack. Super 7 Ultimates The Simpsons, Montgomery Burns, Kang, Kodos, and one of my favorites, Ralph Wiggum. Then we've also got a bunch of another series. We've got the Radioactive Man. Then we've got Devil Flanders. Dredrick Tatum? Barely remember him. King Size Homer. Then we got some G.I. Joes. We got Baroness, Zartan, Gung Ho, and Stalker. And there's some Transformers ones here. We got reformatted Megatron. And Fallen King Starscream. And then Ultimates Ghost. We've got Papa Emeritus 3. Then we've got 3 Zero Transformers Vintage Animation Megatron. And Starscream. And Vintage Animation Bumblebee. Then we got some Yellow Park stuff here Transformers Rise of the Beast. Scourge and Cheetor. Then Toy Notch, Astrobots, Hyperion. And then the last one is Beast Kingdom, League of Legends, Star Guardian, Kai Sa. Prepare your wallets. The pre orders are coming. Hasbro Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Collection Kingpin July of 2024 and 41 books. And Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Tiger Force Wreckage and Tiger Paw ATV October of 2024 and 55 bucks. This pre-order went live extremely early and sold out in a couple of minutes. And it's also a Target exclusive. And that went up whenever the frick that went up. And that sold out. In a couple minutes. Dick move, Hasbro. Speaking of dick moves, I know you guys want to make some money off this, but come on. 60 bucks and 90 bucks. I want to get like one or two of each of these figures, but you're making this really tough on collectors because you're using bots to buy up all Walmart's inventory, and then we can't get them. So, yeah, just knock it off. Rant over for now. From Analyst. Gridman Universe Akane Shinjo New Order Model Kit Quarter 1 of 2025 and 44 bucks. She is 5.9 inches tall. Kung Toys CT Chiyo 03X X Firmament Quarter 2 of 2024, 180 bucks. It does have some die-cast parts here. I'm not sure how big the thing is. There's no mentioning of any of that, but it does look pretty cool. Gilga Toys MMPR Metal Pro Dino Megazord. Quarter 3 of 2025 and $700. Now it is almost 20 inches tall. It's got light-up eyes, some die-cast parts, weapons, five minifigures, and also a display Stead. Toy Notch Astrobots A02T 112th scale Argus Tactical Version. Quarter 2 of 2024 and 80 bucks. This dude is 7 inches tall. Got some LED light up eyes and over 50 points of articulation. That's a lot of articulation. Bandai Spirits Saint Sia Mythcloth EX Aquarius Chemist Surplace 20th Revival Version Quarter 3 of 2024 and 240 bucks. Now it is 7.1 inches tall. It's got some die cast parts and as always, crazy expensive. These guys do look cool, but 
they are not cheap at all. Super 7 Ultimates Motorhead Lemmy Killmeister 1981 Tour. Quarter 4 of 2024 and 55 bucks. 7 inch scale and yeah, he looks crazy awesome. Super 7 Ultimates Czar Face with Super Pack. Quarter 4, 2024 and 55 bucks. He's available at most online places, but in order to get the Super Pack with the accessories from the burrito track, you gotta use the Super 7 website. Moto King Marvel Infinity Saga Iron Spider 112 scale model kit. Quarter two of 2024 and 51 bucks. Now he is 6.29 inches tall. You got lots of accessory, lots of parts, super articulation going on there. And he also comes with the cool diorama stud. Pretty cool looking. I like how you can take the pincers off the back. Sentinel Marvel Fighting Armor, Captain America, Sam Wilson. Quarter three of 2024 and 100 bucks. He is 6.49 inches tall. He's got a bunch of die cast parts. What's cool is you can have the shield or a red wing on like a flight stand, which is pretty cool. So it looks like it's in motion. I'm digging on it. Fish Toys, Journey to the West, 1 9th scale, Tian Peng. Quarter 4 of 2024, 140 bucks. Now she is 8.66 inches tall. I believe this is a silicone seamless body with a metal skeleton, so that's freaking awesome. She's got lots of swappable parts, accessories, page flips, a removable pig head hat. It's a good thing you take that off. It looks a little silly sometimes. And apparently there are more figures on the way too. So if you're into this figure, keep watching the channel because if they make more of the figure soon, I'll pop up in the next videos. Snail Shell is back again. We've got the 112 scale Pumpkin Princess. Quarter four of 2024 and 170 bucks for this one. Now she is 5.9 inches tall. The pumpkin armor altogether is 7.87 inches tall now she's got lots of swappable parts and accessories she looks really cool that pumpkin armor stuff looks pretty awesome this is something different i'm not sure if this is based on some sort of anime or video game but yeah this is pretty cool snail shells been making a lot of awesome looking figures i've seen a lot of in-hand photos of these things and yeah i'm digging on all of them and all the parts Lots of good parts, but yeah, she looks pretty freaking cool. And for my favorite figure statue of the day, Mega House. One Piece Portrait of Pirates, 1 8th scale, Nami, Bathing Beauty, SP, 20th Anniversary, Limited Edition version. Quarter 1 of 2025 and 160 bucks. Now she is 5.9 inches tall. The beer mug has the 20th anniversary logo on there. Not that anyone actually saw the beer mug. She gets the Al Bundy seal of approval. There's still plenty more figures to come in this video, but if you're enjoying it so far, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button so YouTube shares a video with more people. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the action figure news, you can now follow me on Instagram for some random posts. If you'd like saving money in action figures, use my giant toy and other links in the description below. They've got free mother freaking shipping and my trusted overseas seller for lots of my figures. You can also help out the channel by using my Sideshow Collectibles link in the description below. You don't have to buy the figure in a link, but any purchase of Pruder helps me out big time. If you guys use the link, I'll give you a shout out in the next video. Thanks so much everyone who's used it already. You guys are mother freaking awesome. Frazetta Girls, 112 scale, fire and ice. Tigra and her panther, Shaitan, quarter three of 2024, and she is 90 bucks. Now she's 5.9 inches tall, 28 points of articulation. The head has swappable face plates and swappable hairpiece. You got removable parts and accessories, and her panther also has a swap out head. That's pretty cool. Now we have four items from Axie Toys, 112 scale devil figures. All are quarter three of 2024. I believe these are all based on the Image Comics character Pit. 
That's what I'm going with. I think it looks freaking dead on. Now I've got the Gray Devil Standard Edition for 56 bucks. It's pretty much just the figure and some extra hands. Then there's also the Gray Deluxe version for 91 bucks, And that comes with some bonus stuff like vest, pants, mask, some red flame effects, five chains, and two blades. Then there's the Red Devil Standard for 56 bucks, Pretty much just a figure with some hands. Then there's the Deluxe version for 91 bucks. Also comes with some bonus stuff like the vest, pants, mask, green flame effects, five chains, and two blades. Looks like the basic bodies are the same, but of course different colors. Got some different patches on the vests and stuff like that and some different colors throughout some of the accessories. So that's pretty cool. Not sure how big this guy is. There's nothing about the height, but he looks mother freaking huge. And if you want a pit figure, here you go. Storm Collectibles, 112 scale, the King of Fighters 98 Gonitz, quarter four of 2024 and 95 bucks. He's got three head sculpts. Swap out hands and a swap out lower rope piece. He's got the book. A cool looking power effect. So yeah, pretty cool. They're continuing this line. I hope they get some more female figures. I always love those the best. Good Toys. GD002, 112 scale. The Rambler Wandering Warrior. Quarter four of 2024 and 104 bucks. And it's the Into the Spider-Verse 2 Earth. 42 Miles G. Morales as the Prowler. You got two head sculpts. One's helmeted and one is unhelmeted. You got real clothing, extra hands, a slashing effect, a dynamic flight. Stern. I think they nailed the look from his animated movie. It looks great. And the real clothing is freaking awesome. The price point is great too. I don't think they've ever made a 112 scale Miles Prowler yet, if I'm not mistaken. But cool looking figure also in the description below i've got a bunch of links down there one from my facebook group join a lot of cool people a lot of collection figures let me know your thoughts on these figures in the comments below who do you get who are you gonna pass on who do you want these companies to make next and if you want to see some more action figure awesome just check out the video to the left or playlist to the right thanks so much for watching till next video